does it like they have to do some extra effort extra work and if they do how does a kamai or even if you look at the ad platform eases that pain on an, any sort of a given cloud if you're comfortable consuming managed services and proprietary services because you want to be all in on that cloud then the only thing that you really have to watch is how much basically you build on your application and where those costs and the the inefficiencies might crop up but many companies prefer the simplification of a managed service on a cloud where we've been hearing from many companies is they actually want to use their people and manage their people costs versus managed services costs and that's where proprietary implementations can become a challenge because they do lock you in because it makes it really easy for you to spend very heavily on proprietary services and anytime you want to make a change that switching cost is incredibly expensive because i have to change my operations i have to change my scripting i have to reskill my employees and if i have any sort of regulatory context around my app or my workload i have to recertify what i'm building and all of that is hugely expensive and time consuming so what we're focusing on with the app platform is saying let's use regular open source kubernetes we're not changing it we're not creating proprietary wrappers around it you can use akamai's managed kubernetes engine if you like to but the app platform is based on the cncf project and then as we want to scale and add services to a workload deployment we will use the cncf projects as they are so we'll make it easier for a developer to deploy we'll go from months of deployment time down to minutes with the app platform because we've built in all of the orchestration and the apis for that deployment but you'll preserve the ability to migrate that workload anywhere that you want to if you want to so with the app platform it's comprised of four projects two of the projects are open source and they're licensed under apache the other two are proprietary to akamai because they're built in with our platform they're using our services but they're not integral to the functioning of the app platform they just make it easier for you to deploy on akamai and that same code for the console and the api can be replicated by any company for any cloud